Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is just a quick overview of the update for the Wizard 101 damage calculator. We've updated the UI, we've fixed a bunch of bugs, we've added loads of new spells, including the healing spells and the spells that work with their mechanics like infection and guiding light that buffs your healing spells. We've also changed the gear system to a input box instead of little number boxes. That way you just hit one button, put in your gear percentage boost by you know your damage boost. You put your flat damage and how much healing boost you get from your gear and that will be assigned to any spell that you click on from there on. Uh, we fixed the clear button, it now clears all of the checkboxes for the blades and the auras and stuff whereas before it messed around with a few of them, that's all been fixed. We've added the PvP critical, PvE critical, thank you to the Wizard 101 Warriors Facebook group, they were an amazing community, they helped with the development, they gave us all the numbers we needed. Uh, the development is still ongoing, we're going to be updating some of the cards because some of them are lacking uh, some mechanics, but we're going to be updating that really soon. Uh, the dashboard will tell you what's new in the application and the about tab will give you a little bit more about the app, who wrote it, uh, our organisation, uh, it will give you a link to our discord and of course top left of the screen. The blue banner is for the Wizard Banner on Warriors Facebook group, give them a shout, they're an amazing community, they gave us loads of help with ideas and suggestions and they generally really help everybody that joins. The program itself is pretty simple to use, we've tried to keep it as basic as possible and as user friendly as possible. Uh, so just head over to the GitHub, we'll put the link in the description. You will need WinRAR, which is a free software you can download at winrar.com. Download it for your system and that will allow you to open the zip folder. Just drag it onto your desktop and load it up. Thanks for watching, catch you next time guys.